Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this machine right behind me. It's an automatic water bottle refiller. It is super simple to build and the components are really easy to obtain. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Enjoy the video. So here's the machine itself. It is super simple. It's just a couple observers with redstone and you know dispensers and droppers. And basically all it does, it just fills your bottles with water. Um, with the, this dispenser here and this water log stair, all of your bottles will go into that chest. So I'm just going to put some bottles in here and they will just automatically refill. As you can see, it's super fast. We're getting tons of bottles. This storage system will get filled very quickly. And yeah, it just refills your bottles. You just put it in the top hopper. And then this um, comparator detects it that there's something in there and then it sends a signal from this redstone torch which the which the observer observes and then it drops down into the dispenser um, filling it with water and then into this chest and it's already full as you can see so yeah once it's full you just take out the water bottles from the bottom dispenser so it won't get clogged and then just fill it up again when you're ready this machine is so much more efficient than getting water out of cauldrons for brewing. So just take some glass bottles from here. This would be the old way of doing it if you don't build this. And you can only, it only lasts so long. So those two are already out. You can have your brewing area over here with your nether wart farm. It's really up to you. And then yeah, you can just use your bottles to fill it up and you just have um, water bottles ready on the go. This build is super compact and it doesn't require much space at all. So you can build it anywhere you please. To start off, just break two blocks in the ground like this with a double chest here. And then place a hopper going into the chest on the side like this with a dispenser on the top facing this way. And then place two temporary blocks on the top like this and then break one right here and then go down one block. And then place a dropper going in to this dispenser here facing downwards. And then break the temporary block on the top. And then fill this in here. Now you can place down your water log stair. So just place a stair on top of the chest like this with two trap doors like so. And then just flip them up and then place a water logged bucket here into these stairs. And then place a hopper on the top of the dropper here like so. And then this is where you're going to fill your bottles in and it's going to go into the chest. Now count one, two blocks from this dispenser here and then just place a temporary block there with another one on top and then just place two observers facing that way where the face is here and then place another two facing into the dispenser where the red dot is here and then place another block here with a redstone on top of it and that should start clicking and then just place another block here with a redstone torch on the top and that should stop the pulse and then place a comparator on the top here and that will detect when there are bottles in it and start the pulse again filling up the water bottles and whenever you're ready to brew just fill this top hopper with glass bottles like so and your ship machine is ready and complete if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and if you're new around here consider subscribing i make daily minecraft content see you in the next video bye bye